This is a project I'm calling Autoscribe. This video is an overview of the project, the process I went through building and programming the machine, and some of the choices I made along the way. Autoscribe is a drawing machine which is able to draw pretty much anything. Any image you can create with a computer, it's able to put on a paper. I actually first got the idea because I always really liked taking handwritten notes and writing in physical notebooks, but writing was slow, so I wanted to create a way to combine the convenience of typing with the feeling of pen on paper and I started looking around the internet for drawing machines. No surprise, they already existed and there were some retail versions, but I figured, how difficult could it actually be to build one of these myself? And the answer I found after actually doing it was, it's pretty difficult, but I think that's why it's worth talking about. As an overview before I get into the details, the way it works is I start with a special type of image file called an SVG, then I convert the image file into a set of instructions for the drawing machine, and then send those instructions from my computer to the Arduino. Then the drawing machine will move its three motors to draw the image. The first step was buying all of the parts and creating the hardware. I found a couple of really helpful websites, especially one Instructables page, which was my main source of inspiration for the physical design of the machine, and I'll include a link to this. The base is made up of two stepper motors, the exact same things you might see on a 3D printer, connected with a pair of metal rods. The arm is made up of two more metal rods, a servo motor to raise and lower the pen, and a hub to connect the arm to the base. A timing belt is fixed at the side opposite the pen, looped around the first motor, free to move around the end holding the pen, looped around the second motor, then fixed back at the end opposite the pen. This style of using a single continuous belt to control both axes is called Core XY, and this specific design can be called a T-Bot. To move up, both the stepper motors have to spin clockwise. To move down, both have to spin counterclockwise. To move right, the top must spin clockwise while the bottom spins counterclockwise, and to move left, the top has to spin counterclockwise while the bottom spins clockwise. If only one of the motors spins, then it moves diagonally. I think this layout for the motors is pretty cool because it's not immediately intuitive how it would work, but it's great because it keeps the heavy stepper motors at either end of the base and they can both remain stationary. I relied on other websites when coming up with the physical design and mostly made small improvements like making the hub where the axes connect a bit more streamlined and remodeling the ends with a wider base and adding rubber furniture feet to increase grip and reduce vibration. Most of the websites I referenced all used the same software, GRBL, an open source project for CNC motion control. The main difference with my project is that I designed all the software for both the Arduino and my PC from scratch. When designing the code for the drawing machine, I decided to make the problem a bit simpler and focused on making a machine that can draw straight lines. Easy, just figure out the endpoints of the lines and then the machine can go to each of them in order. But how does this happen exactly? Since the stepper motors do just that and step a certain distance, if you zoom into the tip of the pen real close, there's really only a couple of choices to make for the movement. It can move up, down, left, right, or diagonally one step. That means we just have to figure out what combination of these movements will get the pen from the starting point to the ending point. This seems like a pretty easy problem if you're going straight up or right or exactly diagonally, but what if you're going to a coordinate point somewhere like 8, 5? That has a strange slope where you'd have to do a weird combination of movements to get from the start to the end. How can we easily figure out that sequence of step-by-step -step movements but for any possible point? Since each step of the motor is really just a movement on this grid, then stepping from point A to point B is more or less the same as trying to draw a line with pixels, which is a problem someone already solved 60 years ago. Bresenham's line algorithm was designed in 1962 to draw lines with pixels on a computer monitor by just keeping track of a couple of numbers and using only basic math. I implemented a variation of the algorithm that I optimized to run on the Arduino so that the pen can move quickly and smoothly across the page. Now, how do we figure out what lines to draw? There's a type of image file that can help, called an SVG image, or scalable vector graphic. Unlike JPEGs or PNG files, which are called raster images and store individual pixels, PNG images basically store a series of lines or curves. Generally, SVGs are used because you can easily resize images much larger or smaller without losing any quality. For the purposes of this project, SVGs are nice because they already have the list of lines that make up an image. But a drawing machine that can only draw straight lines is pretty boring. SVGs also store equations for more complex shapes made up of things called Bezier curves. If we can break up a curve into a bunch of tiny line segments, then we just need to send the drawing machine each of those straight lines, and it can effectively draw twists and turns. At first there's the concern that it would take a ton of line segments to represent a curve without the image appearing too choppy, but there's a limit to how precise the stepper motors are. 
So I took advantage of this and divided the Bezier curves into as few line segments as possible while still maximizing the resolution of the motors. Now we have a way to get a list of coordinates to draw an image and we have a machine that can draw straight lines. The computer has the SVG image and all of the info, but the Arduino is what controls the drawing machine. The last step is to combine those two things together. As the computer starts sending drawing info over their USB serial connection, the first thing it does is send a command signal. This tells the Arduino that it's about to start drawing an image, so it knows that the next pieces of info it gets are coordinate points for an image, rather than instructions for one of its other features. I also included features for the drawing machine, like fine-tuning the height of the pen in case the drawing surface changes, or manually controlling the pen like an etch-a-sketch with the arrow keys and the spacebar. When the Arduino gets the drawing command, it starts listening for coordinates from the computer and keeps a list of them as it's drawing. I really enjoyed working on this project because of a combination of software, hardware, 3D modeling, and just intuition that had to go into creating the drawing machine. The best part was the moment when the final design started working. The first real complex image I had the machine draw was a little picture of a dog, and as I kept testing it with more and more images, it was so satisfying knowing that it could draw just about anything. In the description, I'll also link to the GitHub page for this project, where I've included all the code for the computer software, the Arduino program, a complete list of the hardware, and all of the SolidWorks 3D models I created. Thanks for watching.